day of 15 days it is right now because I have no idea at this point. I think it's day 8. We're going to go with that. Alright, so today is day 8 of 15 days of foundation. If you're new here, this is where we are trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. So today's foundation is a drugstore priced foundation. This is actually the cheapest priced one we've done so far. This is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation. This retails for $6.99 on Amazon with free shipping. Gotta love Amazon. I have the shade 01. It comes in seven shades on Amazon, but on Golden Rose's website, you can get it in eight shades. I think it has one darker shade. There are virtually no claims online. <laughs> I think it literally says three things on here. Basically it says it creates a natural appearance, good coverage, smooth velvety skin. High coverage, perfect adhesion. That's pretty much all it says. So I was randomly scrolling on Amazon to find foundations I've never heard of, which is a frequent hobby of mine. And I came across this one and it got really good reviews. I've never heard anyone talk about this product at all. I've never heard of the brand Golden Rose, but based on what I was reading online, it looks like it has pretty good coverage and it got really good reviews. So I'm excited to try this. Oh, it says it's made in Turkey. That just made me like 10 times more excited about this product. So like in every one of these videos, you can check the description box for the 15 Days of Foundation playlist that has days one through seven in it. So you can go watch all of those if you miss them. You can also leave your foundation recommendations down below in the description box. Pretty much all the foundations I've picked so far have been from recommendations from you guys. So I do read them and take them into consideration. I can't believe 15 Days of Foundation is officially half over. How do you guys feel about that? I did want to say, because a lot of people have been asking about this, I am going to be rating them 1 to 15 in the final video, so you guys can kind of see my overall thoughts about how I feel about each foundation. So I am going to be doing that in day 15. If you guys are excited about this series and like 15 Days of Foundation, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, do your thing. I've been sharing a ton of you guys' photos that you've been snapping me with the hashtag 15 Days of Foundation on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere so if you're not following me there you should i'm gonna stop talking if you want to see how this foundation applies and wears throughout the day you're in the right place just keep watching all right we are doing this so it is 9 30 in the morning right now i'm in san diego right now i'm actually at my aunt's house because there's major construction going on at my parents house so we had to change locations but it's all good we're here you guys are literally stacked on like 10 books right now. I don't have a standing mirror, so I'm gonna attempt to do this with the shower mirror. <laughs> Classy. So my skin has been doing pretty well lately the past couple days. Wouldn't read too much into it. This is literally what happens. It'll be like horrible for a couple weeks and then start clearing up again. So I'm going through a good patch right now. This is good for me. I do have combination skin with cystic acne and I also just got my brows done, which we'll talk about more as I'm putting on the foundation. So I have to kind of be careful to avoid the brows today. Classic stick packaging, black and gold, and then it twists up. I've only swatched this and it actually looks pretty light. And we're in natural lighting right now because I obviously didn't pack my ring light. So let's just apply this. I'm just gonna blend this. I don't have a primer on my face, but I did moisturize my face. I actually didn't even bring a primer. I totally forgot. So I'm not gonna be able to test half and half. I'm going to use a brush on this side of my face and then try the Real Technique sponge on this side of my face. This is my favorite e.l.f. brush. I love using this for cream foundations. So we're going to go in and blend. This is weird. This is like one of those magnifying mirrors, so I have to literally have it like on my face in order to not be blurry. Ooh. So far this actually reminds me very, very similar to the Makeup Forever foundation so far is blending out really nicely similar kind of coverage to that foundation and the shade actually looks light looks good I need to majorly avoid the brows right now I just went to the second session of my permanent brows I did a whole video on the process my first time and this time I was basically adding more shape I'm in love she did amazing I went to Carrie at Fine Line Studios in Pacific Beach. I'm gonna link her information down below, but you guys should check out that first video as well. I don't have a concealer brush, but I have this little kind of eyeshadow brush, so I'm gonna try and actually put some on here so I can get around my brow. Ooh, yeah. So blend it out really quickly and easily with the brush. 
looks like a satin matte finish. I don't think this looks completely matte. Coverage wise, I feel like we got about a high medium coverage. I'm going to go over a couple spots afterwards just to get full coverage and see if it builds. But let's go in on the other side. I'm going to take the Real Technique sponge now and blend away. This is a damp sponge. People always ask if it's damp. Yes, you always dampen your makeup sponges. I do it before filming so I don't have to do it on camera. Ooh, okay. This is unexpected. It's actually blending out really easily and nicely with the sponge. Oh, interesting. Okay, that literally took about 10 seconds tops to blend out and the finish looks really nice with the sponge. I think I actually got better coverage on this side as well. I might have just applied a tiny bit more product, but I definitely like the side with the sponge better which kind of surprised me. And the brows are gonna lighten up. I explained all about the process getting permanent eyebrows in the other video, but basically they, you have to do darker than you actually want because they fade in a week or two. And I like dark brows even with like when I have silver hair. I like the look of darker brows with light hair. I think it looks more like edgy, you know what I'm saying? What am I doing? Okay, so I love the way that this side of my face looks. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more product on this side and blend it out with the sponge. Yeah, it blends out beautifully with the sponge. And definitely getting full coverage now. Ooh, I'm like pleasantly surprised with this. $6.99 on Amazon? Hell yeah. I don't even feel like we really need that much more coverage on the forehead, but why not? No complaints so far, it's sitting really nicely on the face, especially for not using a primer at all. I just feel like it looks super nice, soft kind of finish. Not clinging to any dry patches or anything. A little bit actually on the forehead right here, but nothing horrible. Everywhere else it looks super smooth, and I'm liking it so far. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. Alright, so it is now 9.52 in the morning. The foundation looks great. Everything blended out easily on top of it. I did set just the side of my face with the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Powder just so I could blend out bronzer and stuff and it doesn't like drag. And then I set my face with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and it looks really nice. It looks good on the forehead, looks good on everywhere. I'm liking it. So I'm going to show you guys a close-up so you can see the finish of it and everything. Okay, I'm literally like squatting right now. I just feel like it looks super smooth, really like the finish of it. And let me show you guys the brows. It's always darker and like fuller looking right when you first get it done. So when it fades, you'll be able to just see the stroke lines. But I vlogged basically the whole second part of it on Snapchat. If you're not following me on Snapchat, it's the Taylor Snaps. You should. Do I want eyeliner? I don't want eyeliner. Let's throw on some eye booster. My wings are definitely not even right now, but yellow. My hair looks a lot more brown in this lighting right now. Okay, 9.50, so we're gonna check back throughout the day and see how it's wearing. By the way, on my lips right now is, is the Tardist Lip Paint in the shade Namaste. This was like one of the little Sephora bonus things, and I really like this color. I feel like it has the perfect amount of pinky tones in it. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be super long lasting, and it definitely transfers. We are just having a chill family day. We're gonna, me and my aunt are gonna go get our nails done, get lunch, and then I will check back at, whoa. Okay, the lighting is like way better with them actually closed right now, I feel like. So it is now 3.13. What time did we put this on? Foundation's been on for five hours, I think. I hope I'm, five hours, yep. So far, I am really liking it. I've gotten compliments on my makeup. It looks really nice and smooth. In here, it doesn't look too bad. In the car mirror, which I feel like your makeup never looks flattering in the car mirror. I don't know what the heck kind of lighting goes on in the car, but I feel like you always look 50 times shittier in the car than you do in real life. In the car, it did look a little bit almost separated on my forehead and on my chin a little bit. In here, it looks okay on my forehead. My chin does look a little bit dry, well, a little bit separated. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. My cheeks look totally fine. My cheeks look really good, but I like the overall finish and the way it looks on my face. It looks really nice and smooth. It looks a little bit cakey around my nose area right here. And the forehead does look a little bit textured. Damn, my brows look good. I almost think with the smoothing primer underneath, we could be golden. Cheeks though look good. Overall, I feel like when you're just looking at it like this, it looks really nice. 
I like the shade. I think the shade is actually like a almost perfect match for me. It's not too light, it's not too dark. Still liking it. I think with a different primer and maybe a setting powder it could be perfect because I did set this area of my face now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe if I set the forehead, it would look as flawless as the cheek area. So I'm about to go get some editing done. We've been out all day and then we're going to be doing a dinner thing tonight. So I'll probably check in after the dinner since I'm going to have all this on still for the rest. It is now the end of the night. It's 9:40 p.m. This is like the jankiest that I've ever right now. You guys are definitely crooked, but it's gonna have to do. You're on a candle flipped upside down on top of a bed. This is literally the only semi-decent lighting I could find in this room. So the foundation's been on for 12 hours now, pretty much, which is a long ass time. It is pretty much totally broken down around my nose area. My forehead actually looks decent. I thought my forehead was gonna be a lot worse but my forehead and my cheeks look totally fine it's pretty much just around my nose area that's broken down I overall really like this for $6.99 I think it's an awesome stick foundation I was super surprised the way that it blended out I would definitely wear this again I love the shade of it I think the shade is super flattering my mom said it looked good which is rare it has mama Beirito approval next time I wear it I am going to try it with a setting powder just on my forehead and around my nose area to see if we can avoid some of the separation but overall, I definitely think it's worth a shot for $6.99. If you have pale skin, this is light enough. It is on the lighter side for me, but it works. So yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. For under 7 bucks, I think it's worth trying out. If you guys like this video and you are excited for day 9 of 15 Days Foundation tomorrow, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.